Good afternoon, learning family. My name is Coach Taylor. I'm with Houston Independent School District, coming from a dyslexia intervention department. Today, we're going to do a skill builder with grammar. Excuse me. So our focus for today and our objective deals with nouns, pronouns, and verbs. We're going to use nouns, pronouns, and verbs to identify and distinguish nouns from verbs. <clears throat> So first, let's talk about definitions. A noun is a person, place, or thing. Some examples with that would be a car, a school, a boat, a pencil, Johnny, or Carla. Those are all nouns. A pronoun takes the place of a noun. So example, instead of saying Johnny, you'll say he. Instead of saying the pencil, you'll say it. And a verb expresses action or a state of being. But today we're just going to focus on action. A verb expresses action. So I have a few sentences for you. <clears throat> the first sentence is Kevin ran. Home. Kevin ran home. <clears throat> so what we're going to do this activity is we're going to underline the noun one time and underline the verb two times. So here, Kevin is the noun. Ran, the action, is the verb. So remember, we want to distinguish between the noun and the verb, <clears throat> and also understand how pronouns work in sentences. So to change the sentence where we have a pronoun, we can say, he ran home. And still the noun would be he, and the verb would be Ran. Take a few moments to figure out ways you can change the pronoun, the noun, or the verb in these two sentences and keep the same sentence structure. I'll give you 10 seconds. <clears throat> All right. So what I can do is, instead of Kevin, I can say, Sarah. Instead of he, I can say, she. And also, I can change the verb to, instead of ran home, we can say, she walked home. A quick reminder that for our nouns, we want to underline one time. For our verbs, we want to underline two times. <clears throat> Another sentence could be, Nicole, Drinks water. Nicole drinks water. Our noun is Nicole. Our verb or our action is drinks, so it gets two underlines. Some of you may be asking yourself, hey, I see another noun, and you are correct. You are correct. Water is also a noun. Nicole would be our main noun. Our main noun. So Nicole drinks water. Nicole drinks water. I could change the verb here.
to spits. To underline since it's a verb, Nicole spits water. Take a moment and change the main noun to a pronoun. She spits water. <clears throat> During this activity, it's very important that you use this time to think about ways to expand on our learning. So right now I have given you a few sentences to think about and work through but I want you to take time to use a picture or an item that you see in your house, in your car, as you're walking to the park or when you're playing in the yard and think about what is a noun and what is a verb and how can you use items around you to create sentences. <clears throat> I'll give you an example. This is a foam roller. It is a noun. This is a foam roller. This is washing detergent. It is a noun. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two items and use it to create sentences. So example, I poured the washing powder. I poured the washing powder. Here, washing powder is used as a noun, but it's not the main noun. I, the pronoun is being used for the main noun. How can we use foam roller in a sentence? One example would be the athlete rolled on the foam roller. The action would be rolled. The athlete rolled on the foam roller. This is a skill builder for nouns, pronouns, and verbs. Today we have distinguished between using nouns, pronouns, and verbs in sentences. For more information, please go to houstonisd.org slash dyslexia. Thank you.